Uh, Why are the stories of the Prophets mentioned in the Qur'an over again? Uh, number one, the Prophets are part of our Iman. So when Iman is being recited over and over again, it increases the person's Iman. When a person connects himself to the Prophets more and more, it increases the person's Iman. Hence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is good for us. Recite from the ways of the prophets that came before us, learn what they've left behind, learn what they went through, and you will increase in your iman. Another reason why the stories of the prophets are often repeated is because the perspective sometimes changes. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells it, please to make sujood, Abel was stuck about He refused, and he became from the kuffar. In another ayah, this is the story of Adam and Islam and Iblis with the Professor Karnami Rabbi. He became a fasik in the uh, in in the command of the Lord. In another place, uh, he said, I am better than him. So now we are learning different aspects to the story in different places. Uh, had Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us everything in one place it might not necessarily have been easily understood and preserved therefore when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us from different perspectives that comes amongst different ayat then it becomes easier for us to understand and apply for ourselves that's another reason another reason why the stories of the prophets are repeated is because sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is now if you look at for example uh, Surah Hud and uh, similar surahs connected to the stories of the prophets in this manner. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about those people who belied the prophets and what happened to them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins by talking about what happened with Nuh, and then Hud, and then Saleh, and then Lot, and then Shaib, and then Musa, alayhi salam jameen. But then in another place in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the favors that he gave to the prophets. Same number of prophets, same stories again but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you want mentions it in more of a positive way and how they were worshippers to Allah and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favoured them and guided them etc therefore there is sometimes a balance between the stories and the prophets between what is affirmation and negation negation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's anger and wrath for those people who contradicted the prophets but their affirmation for how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided them and guided those who followed them. Uh, the stories of the prophets are often repeated in the Quran also in order for us, us the Ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to follow him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so that we don't end up in the situation that happened to those prophets that came before. Uh, these are some of the reasons why the ulama have mentioned that the stories of the prophets have been repeated. Also, there's, there are a number of reasons, actually. Another possible explanation that's been given by the ulama is so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the Qur'an easy for us to understand. So, for example, in Surah Qamar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the story of the prophets. And at the end of each story, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The Qur'an has been made easy as a dhikr, as a reminder, as a memorization, as a something for you to understand and benefit from, but is anyone going to take that, uh, you know, take heed? Uh, so these are some of the reasons why the stories of the prophets have been repeated. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he allows us to benefit from them. Wallahu a'lam.